can share with you my review, as you can tell by the title of Tula Pro Glycylic 10% pH resurfacing gel with probiotic technology. So I have been using this for a few months now and you can tell I'm like at the halfway point. Um, I've probably been using it two months maybe three months two or three months I use it in the morning and I use it at night so what I do is cleanse my face really well in the morning I cleanse it at night and then after I use my toner before I put on anything else I put on Tula now this was I forgot the price but I'll annotate it on the screen um but let me tell you what it says. It says this 100% alcohol-free gel optimizes the balance of the skin's surface microflora to restore the skin to its ideal pH after cleansing, leaving it less susceptible to over-drying and irritation. Our proprietary proglycylic blend levers the probiotic strain like to like to buy cellulose or something like that to strengthen skin's natural moisture barrier glycolic acid glass yeah glycolic acid gently exfoliates dull like lesser skin and targets poor clogging dirt and debris to reveal a smoother younger looking complexion hyaluronic acid leaves skin visibly plump and hydrated to use after cleansing pump gel onto cotton pad and apply evenly over the face well i actually pump it onto my hands i do not use a cotton swab i just feel like it's a waste to put it on a cotton swab or um, any kind of cotton material so what i do is like i said i wash my face then put it on i'm on it is like a gel and a little bit goes a long way so i usually do like two pumps and do my whole face and my neck and stuff and um so it's just a clear gel and it'll actually dry down and what i have noticed about this since using this is that my skin okay so when i first started using it i was like okay wow it's like you know like you like i used it let's say for like a few days and then i began to notice that and 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 a lot of times i can tell by like my forehead and like up in here it's something about that area when I want to look for how something is working on my skin, I look in those particular areas and I don't know why this one, those areas, which are like really my oily areas. And, um, I, so I tend to actually, I don't know, judge products by those areas for some reason, especially my forehead. And I did notice that it really, really has hydrated and hydrated my skin a lot. Um, it does not leave a stinging feel or anything like that when i put it on i just simply put it on but i feel like my skin has this plumpness about it since i have actually used these products started using this product i feel like that it actually has you know how like sometimes your skin can look dull and you just like yo what in the world is wrong with my skin well using this i do feel like my skin is like it gives me that younger plump um what can I say? Like younger, plump, kind of happy. You know that 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 look that you get when you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, or you look at somebody and you're like, wow, her skin looks really good. That's what I get. And a lot of times I like I said, I gauge it by when and when I don't have any makeup on, as well as when I have makeup on, because I feel like this does not affect my makeup at all. I can apply it and it's almost as if I don't have anything on my face, really. I still use a moisturizer on top of this, but I do feel like it really gets rid of the dead skin cells and actually resurfaces the skin and actually gives the skin a a renewal. You know, it's like it renews the skin. I definitely do feel that. So I am giving this an A plus girl. And I'm telling you, especially if you're an older lady with mature skin, or even if you're younger and your skin has just got, it's just lacking that 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 youthfulness that that um what do i want to say that that brightness that you know that oh uh, try it because 
I definitely think you'll like it. I, I I love it. I think it's definitely a product worth trying. Like I said, especially if you are a, a lady that is a mature skin. I'm 47 for those of you that don't follow me. The people that follow me know that. But I'm 47 and I just feel like that this has helped with my skincare regimen. I feel like it has definitely helped to balance my skin out. So I don't have... Like used to my skin would just be so oily that it was just ridiculous. I I mean like my foundation would just come through in no time. So I do feel like it has actually helped to balance my skin out. Now I still do get oily, but just not as oily as I used to. And I definitely like it. I think it's a product that you definitely need to pick up. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna throw in this um Dr. Dennis M this Med MD33 Clinical Eye Emulsion. This, I got two of them actually. So, same deal with this. I've been using this for about two or three months. And I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, that's all I have left in here. So, it's not much at all. But, and this also is a gel. So, let me show this to you. Um, this is a gel, but it's like a gel oil a little bit. So, sometimes I have to make sure that I rub it in really, really good on my skin. Can you see that? Rub it in really, really good or it just kind of sits there. So, I don't really feel like it like really absorbs into my skin like this gel here does. This just like really absorbs into your skin like very nicely. I don't feel like this... Um, eye treatment here this eye emulsion really absorbs into my skin i feel like like i said it just kind of sits there and i actually have to pat and do you know to make sure that it's in there good so usually i'll use this then i'll use this on top of it after it dries a little bit and then i'll use this this let me see if i can read what this says it just says gently apply to eye area day or night as your final step is like an eye gel that's supposed to actually brighten your under eye and just kind of so it does like kind of have my under eye soften like you know my under eye area is soft it's not dry at all it's not dry not one bit however if you're looking for something to like plump your own under eye area this is not it i don't feel like it plumps my under eye area or makes me look any younger in my under eye area i don't feel like it does anything for my wrinkles or anything for my lines i just feel like it hydrates and you know sometimes i guess when stuff hydrates like these lines and wrinkles then they don't they look less you know they look a little bit less prominent you know what i'm saying but I definitely would not purchase this again. I have another whole one because it was a deal I got two. I got these off of Q QVC. It was some kind of deal you buy, you get two of them for like a certain price or whatever. I I I I I would say if you're looking for something that your that your under eye area will not dry out, it will not be dry, then that's fine. You could give it a try and see if it works for you. I wouldn't repurchase this because it just it's just okay. You know, it's just okay. But I don't feel like... It hydrated under my under eye area, but I don't really feel like it did. I guess I was expecting a lot more than what it actually did. I don't know. Go figure. But this Tula, I definitely, definitely recommend that you try this Pro Glycilic 10% pH resurfacing gel. It just continues to resurface your skin. You know, gets rid of dead skin cells and things like that. I definitely definitely say try this this you can try it but i wouldn't repurchase it i think it's overpriced for what i got or maybe it did what it was supposed to do i just expected more i don't know <laughs> anyway it didn't work all that good for me if you tried either of these products then let me know in the comment section below and if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to answer them and i'll be ask them and i'll be glad to answer them for you thanks so much for stopping by my channel if you have not sub yet go ahead and hit the sub button hang out with your girl and i will holler back at you in the next video y'all bye